Welcome to Nostalgia Comrade. Today, we are looking at Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey is the second installment in the Young Neo series. He is not allowed to put on sunglasses yet, but already grown up some hair. In fact, many people like Bill and Ted, but to me, they always been a ripoff to Wayne's world. While preparing for this review, I was upset to learn that the second Bill and Ted was released a year earlier than the first Wayne's World, and that pretty much ruined up the script. Don't know what to say now. So let's pick up some cranberries. It's astonishing to learn how a plot taking place entirely in America still finds some ways to display some national stereotypes. They are Latinas. British, I guess? Asians? And of course, Russians. Even that Russians have like a minute total screen time, it still gives a good cranberry harvest. Only look at this shop. It has it all. Snow. Of course. It always snows in Russia. In fact, Russians have two winters each year. A sunny green one, which is cold but bearable. And a grayish white one, which is completely insane. Look at the ladies' fashion. Everything is dark and black and brown. Like those babushkas on the left. And even young Natashas are dressed like old babushkas. Even the lady in red's red is somewhat black. I also like the car, which is from 1930s, judging by the headlights, even though the story takes place in the 90s. The shop's window is just fake. No Soviet shop had working electronics on display in window shops. And of course the headgear. All those Ushankas and Kazakhs type of hats. As for the language, the text on screen actually gives accurate translation without spelling errors which is a pleasure to my lives. But it's all ruined by the shop's name. First, some of the letters are substituted by other, similar looking, but still wrong letters. It's like you would use a dollar symbol instead of letter S. The words on both the wall and the window mean television appliance. What an idiotic name for a store. Would you call 7-Eleven nutrition materials? Or Walmart general merchandise? A store selling television appliances would have a sign saying TVs, or electronics, like in the rest of the world. The movie was shot in the early 90s. Why couldn't they just copy the exteriors from some photo books boasting about great life in the Soviet Union? Dozens of them were forced to the foreigners. I did some research before making videos, why they didn't. This completes this review. See you next time.